All right, so now that we have the growth of the soil up here, the next thing we need to do is to, to make that heavy lifter, basically. I think that, you know, unlike the other times, we're going to design and build this here in survival instead of doing it in creative. So let's see how that works. I think we'll move it a little bit closer to those windows over there, meaning that it'll be closer for Bob and he'll be quicker. So, something like this. I have to do uh, software encoding when recording now. I don't know why it wasn't a problem before. It suddenly is a problem. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of power issue with my computer. I've recently opened it and um, I needed to change one of the cables going to the system SD because that was uh, damaged on actually. I have no idea how I managed that. But you know, I think we'll, we'll grab one of these here on the side here two hinges on this side notch down okay notch down which way did we put the warning marks on the other side i think they're up yeah they're up paste that and he's lock off okay so that's not going to work it's kind of no, 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 it's it's good, it's good. And paste this one, so I'm pressing insert and page down. Does that. Okay, so that kind of illuminates our little spot here. And let's name these. So this is Spotlight Light Deck, and it's La, La Casita Blanca. Max intensity, max radius. Then insert page up will copy all the settings. How about we get one of those one button panels then? There. Well, Bob, feel free. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we basically need to get those into a group. Uh, L, so it's LCB, flight, these two here, La Casita Blanca, spot lights, light tech. So sci-fi button terminal, you are on La Casita Blanca. One button terminal, flight tech. Like so, we will set up the actions for this one. So LCB, flight tech, spot lights, toggle block on or off. And let's go text and images. The text lights, it's called them floodlights. That's cool. Flood lights on slash off. Okay, and we can go like we can align it to center and then increase it uh, something like this. Go like that, like that. Okay, that's um, that wasn't too much, but like so. Yep, so. All right, so let's see, where is like, a good place to grab this thing? It would be somewhere around here, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking is that we'll build a ridiculously long uh, starting block from over here. Well, it's not exact, is it? No, it's not. And this is not parked exact, so that's just not going to be be any point doing what we could we could drop one of those on top of there how about that a small block connector okay so you don't want that do you but we have some tricks down our sleeve you see up our sleeve basically i believe the term is but well who cares there see with that now yep that should do it Sides here is a good area to grab, right? So, what do we want? We want the heavy lifter able to lift this thing and probably other vehicles over. It's going to be hydrogen powered like everything else we have. And I think we'll start with the, the lifting gear. So let's see, what kind of apparatus do we have for it? We have landing gear and there's basically, that's kind of a cool block in it. And you have those. Um, so let's see, this, the large, it looks 
more like uh, like the small one doesn't look any good. This looks like it's meant to lift things, right? So if we get two of those, you know, attached in some way, shape or form here. Yeah, if we start working with that, I think that's going to be fine. We'll work ourselves over to the other side. This is just a base structure, you know, we, we can change the frame later once things are kind of connected, you know. Uh, but okay, here and we're one below. We may also need to kind of um, make a strong point where where this where you're kind of able to lift this, right? But that's those. I'm going to want a camera that looks down upon these. Uh, this is an industrial build, so I'm going to need. I'm going to want an industrial cockpit. I want the lifting thrust to be like on the sides, and of course, this one needs to be able to. It can land on those. And it needs to be able to be refilled or connected to something. We'll handle that in the back. Let's just, you know, make something of a base structure. I don't know. Still. Kind of, I rarely start by placing the cockpit but since I, I really haven't decided anything about this build then I mean why not like so connect that up it's going to not going to need a lot of battery power but like we've experienced uh, the small batteries they tend to to get drained quite quickly so we're plonk a battery on there I kind of want some the lifters to be up here like a, almost like an eagle that's uh, yeah keeping it holding its wings its wings high you know it's, I don't know if that was a good description of it but that's kind of like my idea here I think I'll go with the normal thrusters I mean I don't really think the the, the industrial ones look that good so I'm thinking you know we go completely overboard and use like four of these guys Then something like that, you know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And I haven't made myself an access point up here yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, this world is so um, immature. Still, you know. Turn off the lights. Yep. Counting with the Nomad. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes. You know, that's, that's what we're thinking here. And then I think we'll pull these back. And we'll do the same thing. So something like this here. So let's say we go. That's 10 blocks. That's going to be enough. This is basically going to be like a flying crane. I think that was a little bit too much. So let's stop here. Yep. Take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe these should be in the middle of these. Hmm. Okay, so let's worry about that later. So another large hydrogen thruster there. I think it's pink we got in this setup for the... I really like the paint gun mod. I mean, it's, uh, it's such a great quality of life mod. I mean, it's one of the things, you know, once you start using it, you can't really... You can't really play in the game without you. Then we could just, you know, connect up these here. That is another clue to check that the recording is uh, working. 
I don't know if you can help, but we've had some issues lately. <laughs> yeah, we've had some issues lately. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what we did, really. <laughs> but it worked. Uh, it seemed to have worked, at least. So, yeah, let's continue their idea here. Bring that along. Maybe we'll get some, um, some of these connector junctions in. Connect them up. Oh, come on. What? Are the covered conveyors now available for, for small ships? Well, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, oh, well. Let's not focus on that now. Okay, so what parts are connected here now? Get it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, the computer is struggling so much. Oh, we're out of interior plate. Yeah, murder some wolves. Yeah, this is like, it's a little bit of the, the extremely industrial look I was, uh, <laughs> the look I was looking for. I don't know, like, I don't know if I want the, the maneuvering thrusters out here. I think maybe we want them in here. Does this have a middle? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it doesn't. Okay, so four thrusters it is then. They could be pointing towards one another. That'll be cool. Okay, a little bit of a like, unlikely thruster placement. These have a three block damage radius and there's a lot more than three blocks over here. <laughs> Let's check that. Yeah, no, it's more. So between these, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's, there's no problems there. There's four thrusters like so. We could do the same thing here. You know, they'll be like adding one of those, uh, be three thrusters going back then. We could do five. Point them towards one another out here. We could do that. That's going to be cool. So we do this. No, I really don't like the look of those, uh, those connection ports. So we have to. We're going to have to cover those up with something but yeah so that's four backwards four forwards and four to each side the only thing we don't have is a downwards thruster which we don't need we could give it one just for posterity and do we want to connect these here just for the looks of it Of course going to need some tanks, hydrogen tanks, we'll do small and large hydrogen tanks. What more, what more, okay of course a gyro, a couple of gyroscopes we'll place in there, or normal stuff with timer blocks and whatever, but yeah, and then also H2O2 generators. We could place those on top here, you know, just to cover up that ugly, that ugliness. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> and if we ploink this one, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not that way, sir. Okay. Well, when you're looking at stuff from like 45 degrees, it's almost, sometimes I find it really difficult to place them. Are you shitting me? Do you need to like, oh, that's so strange. The fact that you're like, okay. Uh, oh my God. We'll place an antenna block here. That's a tip, my typical position for an antenna. Get to this, an antenna, then the timers, then the programmable blocks. You're going to need a projector. How about I just place a projector up here? Oh, there. And we could do like a, one of those visible antennas pointing up for once. So I will do that. 
and then we should be able to place that guy. Okay, so, so the tanks, something like that maybe. Let's see if that's correct. Like this. Mm -hmm. So how about we do a medium cargo container? I if I did a connector on the last one, just for some ice. There. Yep. That could be filled up with ice for you to convert to hydrogen. And we need to check the recording again. Well, magic is in the air. It worked. You know, I could slap more generators on front of this but yeah well, well yeah we need engines so hydrogen engines and what kind of connectors do those have i don't think they have any large oh they only have small connectors do -de -do -de -do -de. we could slap them on front to kind of oh will they look good here will they hmm. them could we put them here to cover up those and uh, no apparently not here See, the hydrogen engines is a box that look kind of cool, you know, so I was thinking maybe we could use it to, you know, to make it look better. I don't want more on the sides here. If we place them there and just pipe them up like that. Is that going to look? Why not? Why not? They leave a gap behind it now. There are these conveyor converters, right? What do they do? Oh, if we hang the engine all the way out here. Let's go. Let's take those off. See, uh, uh, have those gone completely haywire now? I don't know if I like the sound of Bob doing grinding. Did I cut power to something up here? Are you eating my ship, Bob? Hmm, apparently not. Don't know what he was feeding from. Okay, so one of those. And that. Like that. We could put like a smokestack up on there later. But we'll leave that for now. And inside here, you know, just because we are weird when it comes to these things. Here we could connect them with connectors and then have places to put other stuff but you know this ship most of the structure here you see is is um of course for looks right it's a cosmetical that's what did i use that one now okay that's wrong that was the wrong block sir it's not the t-tube you're supposed to use it was the straight pipe yep and on this side yep that's the correct one Okay, so, of course, we need a projector block. We did place the projector block. That's good. So that's a smoke a stack pipe there. The exhaust pipe. And then the gyroscopes. We probably have different places as well, but all right. So that's, I'm thinking, let's have some real fun with, with, uh, with the smoke stacks on this one. So let's do like here 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 and here well, that way it looks like it's working hard when it's lifting do we want the gyroscopes to be visible yeah probably like they could cover up those that would be cool forward direction down on them do we think about that That'll cool i'll fill that area up somewhat and maybe we creeble it some kind of way like that I always put in a couple of extra timers, you know, at least you need one kind of like to, to, to launch and, uh, and one to recover. And then maybe we want a timer block to, to connect or whatever. So yeah, that gives us that. And let's throw in a couple of programmable blocks on it. Just because you never know. There, at least we have a couple of pro programmable blocks should we need them. Of course, need lights. Important starboard navigational lights. Like so. You know what? We could put some spotlights like here, right? Because they're kind of set back a uh, ways. That'll be cool. Then we could have some spotlights up there that are angled down using, um, using hinges. 
Oh, we need to cover up those two butt ugly things there. I believe two two large tanks will be a plenty for this guy to carry. But ah, oh, we need some uh, gatlings, of course. All of my ships are required to you know supply me with their so that's another 15 minutes we need to check the recording and we can try to soldier on now a little bit perhaps uh, because it's been working out so well oh well like i was saying all my ships are required to supply me with their um amount of um of wolf skins could, could you sit back here is that going to look completely but ugly like so and then just please Stop all of that motion. It kind of look folded up there, and that's cool. Yeah, bad arcs of fire though. But so how many gyroscopes? We got four gyroscopes. That should be plenty. Uh, let's open that at least. Gyroscopes. We got trust. We got batteries. We got everything. This thing should basically fly now. If we give it, um, <laughs> uh, if we give it hydrogen, of course. But let's see. Is there any ice left down here on the? The Phoenix. Yes. I mean, we could even give the growth of the soil a little bit of ice. Then I was thinking, okay, of course we need a backwards facing, so remote control, yeah, camera. So? Wow, we run out of this pretty quickly. You know, the fact that the uh, rain is a little bit annoying is still kind of cool, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Then we'll bring it further along, probably. So that's the wrong block, sir. I think it'll be like so. Like so. And then we bring this along here. So like, I want it to be like this. I, it's the like a lattice work is that the word but maybe not using the the um, the beam blocks that could be cool as well of course but yeah Both this contraption here and the growth of the soil needs to be uh, uh, needs to be painted in the company colors, of course. This needs a name. It hasn't deserved a name yet. <laughs> oh no, that doesn't go like that. Okay, so we're piping you up like so. Again, this is just cosmetical. They are already piped up. Could we bring a line like from there? Where would that end up? And yeah, for, for those of you who are dropping in for the first time, um, I have disabled or I have the, the lo no lightning damage mod. Why? Because, uh, you know, I think the weather is cool in the fact that it kind of impairs visibility for flying which is cool and a, and a real thing right and uh, but the lighting damage thing is just uh, i think it's just an annoyance yeah 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 we like that we like that so we're kind of making this look hollow almost and then yeah like like it's being held up on this frame I remember the baseball You know what I think we will do for now? We'll save and we'll try to, to disconnect these two. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah.
okay. I wonder if uh, Bob comes to eat this guy when he's only... Con That's why I waited so long, because I wanted it to be no connected, but okay. So you fell, that means you don't have hydrogen. Okay, so what are the... Met magnetic. Mag magnetic plates. Mag plates. Save. Let's look at the inventory. Let's search for tank. Let's search for eng. What are there no... Eng... The H2? I two oh two generators is there any ice there's no ice so we need to provide you with ice these are locked you know if i give this thing a connector on top or an upwards facing connector basically that allows us to use the prospector to refill it with ice which would be beneficial Mm, where do we put that without making it look stupid? Put it on any one of these sides, basically, but... Ooh. Uh... Okay. <laughs> mm, a couple of wheel wheels are missing, sir. Is that all the ice? That was all the ice. What? It's... There's more damage here. <laughs> ah, okay. Future us. A problem for future us. Okay, so that fires up all the engines and what have you. So let's do hydrogen engines. Let's turn these off for now. So I was wondering, do we have a name for this ship? Mm, so the Forgotten Grudge. No, that's more like a, a. I think that's a high. That was a hydrogen mining ship, the Pathological Liar. I thought that was supposed to be a intelligence gathering ship. How about the Unintended Consequence? The Unintended Consequence, or the Proof of Innocence. I thought that was supposed to be a warship. It's a heavy lifter. We need to think about it. Maybe the Road to Success. Maybe the Road to Success will be the name. Also the hydrogen. Thrusters, and then the thrusters, and the backwards thrusters. So these here are the coast thrusters. But we still don't have enough. We don't make a block for those. Called H2. There it is. Yeah, we definitely need to provide you with more ice. And the easiest way to do that would be... I seriously need to make an access point up there. This is getting old. See, that way I can fly out with the prospector and fill this with ice. So how about we make that the last thing we do today? It's night. Is the station... No, the station is not using power. That's what it says. What's the station battery is like? They're all fully charged. So we don't really need to draw power from the battery bank up there at the solar tower. ice pit it's over here The color on the thrust is coming from some kind of... It, it's a mod that gave me these wings that go in front of the, the atmospheric thrusters. And they um, they do it so that you reverse it. I don't remember the name of the mod, but I'll 
I'll see if I can remember it the next time, but I don't really like that color, so yeah. And I don't remember how much weight we can pull with the Prospector either. So around 10,000, how full are we now? This full, the connector is full, and I think it can carry a full drill of this. So we're starting to, we need to stay vertical for it to maintain. That is a good sign that we should give up while we are still ahead. Wow, okay, so we are heavy now, so 125,000. Now when you're loading this a lot, it's kind of dangerous when it comes to the point where uh, when you engage the braking thrust, you don't have enough uh, energy or have, en yeah, have enough power to, yeah, have, have enough power or electrical power basically to, to use your lifting thrusters. Oh, I crashed so many ships doing that. So let's ease it in here. Oh, wow. Yep, you're heavy. And I think I have a little bit of strange set up for the, for the landing or the docking of this. Now we can go to the prospector. Okay, so it was triple zero. So basically I could just write three times zero and get into controlling it. Let's see. Now, the way I've oriented this is that the way it's facing now is registering forward for the remote control. So it's a little bit confusing. I probably should have put it so that it's more like it's backing and looking down. Yeah, I think I'll go up just walk up there and check to see how this you know if it's actually unloading it let's see for the control panel let's see what we have a medium cargo container and this is um, oh we don't know the name of it we could basically call this special and ask him to pull ice all the time but it's on this guy um, yeah so we could do that that should be the only medium cargo container right so we basically take all ice and uh, did I not connect the upper Oh man, so many people must have been screaming at their screens. This upper lattice work, I've forgotten to connect that to the lower. <laughs> oh yeah. But what is Crisis averted. 